Hi guys, thanks so much for stopping by. So today I'm gonna do another movie review and this is in regards to A Star Is Born. Um, I'm, 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 where to start? I don't know, I'm just like so excited about it. So ever since I've heard about this movie, I have been just like figuratively doing this, you know, like biting on my nails and just like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to watch it, I can't wait to watch it. I'm a Lady Gaga fan. I'm a Bradley Cooper fan and I love movies with a lot of songs in them. I love that kind of movie. I love musicals. So um, it was just like one of those trifecta kind of things. I didn't know A Star Is Born was a remake. I didn't know that this was the fourth movie. Fourth or fifth? I'm not sure. So anyway, I'm going to go to imdb.com and read off the info that's on there and then we go from there. So this is rated R. <sighs> yeah, I can see that. I, it's rated R language probably and the um, certain, certain aspects of the movie, certain aspects of the story. Um, this is two hours and 16 minutes. Hmm, okay. Drama, music, romance are released in October 5, 2018 in the U.S. I don't know when this was released all over the world, but in the U.S., October 5, 2018. A musician helps a young singer find fame, even as age and alcoholism sends his own career into a downward spiral. So, director Bradley Cooper. Writers Eric Roth, Bradley Cooper. Uh... Oh, yeah, writing credits, screenplay, and Will Fetters. Um, so, this has Lady Gaga, Bradley Cooper, Sam Elliott, um, Andrew Dice Clay, um, Rafi Gavron, Anthony Ramos, Dave Chappelle, um, so... I kind of got the gist out of the story, you know, a star is born. Someone got discovered, becomes a star, you know, self-explanatory title. It's more of the details. Isn't that always the case? More about the details. Um, so essentially, I don't want to do a lot of spoilers, but essentially, um, Jack or Jackson Maine, that would be Bradley Cooper's character. He, um... He accidentally goes into this bar where he um, meets Allie, which is played by Lady Gaga. She performs there. He is enthralled. He, you know, he is attracted to her and he enjoys, he, he liked the way she was singing and performing and stuff like that. And so they get into conversation and and they get to know a little bit about each other and long story short she gets to show who she is and perform and it got received 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 oh my gosh received well she gets approached you know her career starts to go up that kind of situation in the midst of the midst of the midst oh my gosh i seriously cannot talk anymore so, um, she has discovered and during that time, Jackson or Jack and Ali fall in love and yada, yada, yada. I don't want to do any spoilers. So that's already, I think it's a kind of a given. So they fall in love and then a lot of other things happen. That's all I'm just going to say. I feel like if I say anything else, I would make into a spoiler and I don't really don't want to ruin anybody's time because I really enjoyed the movie and I enjoyed the fact that I didn't know what was coming. I didn't know these beautiful details that have been laid in really wonderfully. I like the way they did one scene to the next in which it wasn't too detailed. You were kind of just like, oh, so they did that. You know, there are some movies there that you really have to literally add every single little bitty scene so that I don't know why but it's very in, very intricate and this one was not and I kind of liked it that way because 
it kind of was it, it was really fair it wasn't like it wasn't like the whole story was this in the span of a month. How like sometimes it just kind of feels like that. But this one really was kind of shown really fast paced. And I really like that part. Um, I like this the way they showed things. And certain scenes that they just didn't add gory details in there. And I really appreciate that, you know. Because sometimes it kind of like stays in the back of your head. And it will pop, it will pop in in like the worst the worst moments you know you're like having lunch or brunch or, or breakfast with your family and like this scene from this movie just popped up that was pretty gory that's not really what I want to <laughs> remember right now so I, I appreciate those things um I love the songs in there I didn't know Bradley Cooper could sing um Lady Gaga of course it's just wow she made me cry in this movie. You know, she made me cry. Like, she's, her presence was just so real. It was just like, oh my God, I can't, like, there was some point I'm just like grabbing my popcorn and sniffing and then wiping my face like this, like the whole time. <laughs> just, oh my God, uh, just, oh my gosh. And then of course, I, I don't know what I was drinking. Um, water maybe with my popcorn, who knows. I don't even remember that. I just remember like putting popcorn in my face and just grabbing my drink and just whatever and just crying and like my sweater was all wet, like wiping my tears. This was really a moving, a very moving story. There's some, there's, it's a, it's pretty dark. I would say it's a really dark story and I think it's more of awareness in a sense than than really kind of looking like, oh my gosh, this is so dark and all this stuff. There are a lot of uplifting moments in there, but there's also a lot of dark moments in there. And overall, I really loved it. I loved this movie. It was just, oh my gosh, when a movie makes me cry, immediately it's in my love section. Immediately, I'm like, oh my God. I will automatically always think about that movie. I will automatically think about the details. I will automatically always think about um, certain scenes, certain moments that made me cry, certain certain expressions they had or shared or, or exchanged, certain dialogue. Like that would, and I love that. I love it when, when I watch a movie and it really affects me in that way. I love it when, um, someone makes a beautiful product which is a movie and it actually captures the audience it gets inside of you and just you know it it anchors itself in there and time passes and there's going to be certain times that you're just going to remember these moments and you're going to love it and you're going to be a little bit moved again and you're going to be a little bit like awestruck again due to like your emotions are going to be you know are going to be are going to be moved again and I love that I love that kind of movie um so to be quite honest it's not every year I get to watch a movie something moving like this and it's not every year um and it's not even a lot in a year I can be appreciative if there's a handful in a year. I would, you know, I would like that, but it's not always the case. So I'm really loving the fact that I watched this, enjoyed it really well. Um, and it's one of those movies that if I want to do a cry, if I want, if I'm in the mood to cry, just feel that, that, that cry. And I just want to cry that day. <laughs> I think I would pop this in. Um, so it's hard to actually put other words in there without having to do some spoilers because there were some really good details in there and a lot of it it's just I don't know it just it was made really well and man Lady Gaga man just I swear I'm like oh my god every time she's you know every time she's in the movie when she comes out and she she does her thing and I'm like oh my god 
I'm speechless, speechless, crying, speechless, crying again, like putting the popcorn in so my husband can't hear me sobbing out loud. Oh my gosh, just wow. I am very, very impressed. Yes, she's a phenomenal performer. She's a phenomenal singer. She's She can dance, all that, but like, wow. This was a wow for me, definitely a wow. Okay, so one being the lowest in my rating and 10 being the highest of stars, I would give this a 10 out of 10. I would also recommend this 100%. I really love this movie. I am very impressed. Bradley Cooper can be a really good director and he's a pretty good actor too. So I do enjoy Bradley Cooper's work. Um, he's a really good actor too to me. Um, and of course, Sam Elliott's in there. My husband and I have this ongoing joke how Sam and I told him, I'm like, when um, after the movie, I'm like, that dude. That dude is going to live forever. He, I, I don't really know much about Sam Elliott. I just know that I think we were, we were talking about it, um, a few weeks ago and he was showing me like pictures, pictures of Sam Elliott, like before we were born. And I'm like, this dude doesn't age this. I think he has discovered the fountain of youth and he is just secretly like probably bathing in there every day. This dude just doesn't age right? Oh my gosh. I would want to know that secret. I think everybody else would. So anyway, I do recommend this film. If you haven't really seen it, if you are a fan of Bradley Cooper, Lady Gaga, um, if you love musicals, if you love um, music in movies, if um, you love to watch a good movie. This is or a great movie. This is definitely one to watch. You are going to be blown away, blown away. Just, oh my gosh. And, and make sure you have like tissues and handkerchiefs and towels and rags because my sweater was definitely drenched. Like my sleeves here and here were wet because I'm just like putting popcorn in my mouth just to muffle them, the sobbing, and then just wiping it off here and here. And like my, I, I knew my hands were like moist all the time because of my tears. It was just ridiculous. I'm really glad we watched it like really dark and every, all the lights were off because if not, like you would see the ugly cry. Oh my God. So, <laughs> so if there are other movies that you guys want to recommend that I might enjoy um, to watch and of course share my review on it and how I loved it possibly, hopefully, um, let me know down below. I love hearing from what you guys um, enjoyed watching and I always am open to watch any great movie out there. Thank you guys for stopping by and I'll see you again next time. Bye. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please uh, hit the like button, subscribe button, and the bell so you'll be notified whenever I do upload a new video. Don't forget to expand the description box because as much as possible, I always try to get coupons for you guys, discount codes, and other goodies uh, like that. Um, I also have my Twitter information, Instagram, Snapchat, and for business inquiries, I have my email there as well. Thank you guys, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.